so I fasted all of Tuesday. It's now Wednesday morning. I wanted to get that extra weight off. What? what? 212.6. You know I gotta try it again. How sweet is that? Not only have I lost the pound I gained, I lost an extra pound. Yes! yes. <laughs> 212, you know what that means? When I get down to 211, that's 40 pounds down. 40, 40 pounds down. Woohoo! I am breaking my 40 hour fast with Chipotle. Woohoo! So today has been a good day. I'm back down two pounds and I fasted for 40 hours. Now I'm going to get some lunch, picking myself out. Later on, I'm going to make some chocolate chip cookies. It's going to be a fun day. Stay tuned. So good, mixing all that together. Big, mushy, tasty deliciousness. Now that I got food down my gullet, I'm going to have my supplements. So this is the multi-pack from um, GNC, the metabolic and energy pack. And then in here is uh, CLAs and then one ginkgo biloba because my memory sucks. And I'm walking into the Jewel to go get some Lily's chocolate chips and some more baking soda for my cookie recipe. So let's go shopping. Also want to get some sleepy time tea since we're here. I also need more regular tea. So green tea with blueberry, that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Maybe I'll get that. Yeah. Oh yeah. And this is the first time I'm doing this, but Gary Gold. I've always gotten Land O'Lakes, but yeah, I've always gotten this. So now I'm going to do Gary Gold. I guess that's the keto thing to do. Here is the ingredients minus my cat for the cookies. So you get a half a cup of softened butter, vanilla, coconut oil, Salt, chocolate chips, chopped walnuts, this is my favorite brown sugar, trivia, and then some almond flour. All these are going to go together along with some eggs, which I have in my fridge, and we're going to make some cookies. We go organic eggs. All right, here we go. All right, cookie time. So... These are my measuring, my um, ingredient bowls because they're recyclable and they're easy to use and I don't have any small little bowls. So first we need a quarter cup of coconut oil. So I have my quarter cup of coconut oil right here. So I'm going to just keep filling it up until it's full. in there. There you go. These cookies are so good. I've made probably six different kinds of cookies and these are my all-time favorite. No buts about it. I even brought them to work and um, nobody there is keto. <laughs> and there are some of them were like, I'm really hesitant to try these, but when they tried it, they're like, wow, those are really good. I'm like, I know. So this recipe is for Meaningful Eats, just so you know. Quarter, 
coconut oil. I'm going to put in this bowl right here. So it is ready. Get in there. Okay. I should have this by, know this by heart now, but I think because I'm on camera, I get brain freezes. So this coconut oil. Put this away. All right. So now we need a half a cup of butter softened. Now I know I just went and bought Kiri Gold, but I already have these softened up a little bit. So this is my last of my Land of Lakes. So I'm going to use these for the cookies because I know they already taste good in the cookies. So I'm going to use these. So here is the butter. Butter. You know what? Yeah, I think one thing we should do is preheat the oven. All right. 350. All right, so there we got the butter and the coconut oil. Now, three fourths cup of brown sugar. Now, I've used the swerve brown sugar and I've used the Truvia brown sugar. And this is the bomb.com. It's so much better, taste wise, I believe. Erythritol, it's got a little sugar in there for some reason. I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, it's got two grams of sugar, two erythritol, um, and the stevia. So, I don't know. It doesn't spike my blood sugar so and I googled I researched it and they said it's not supposed to spike your blood sugar so I'm gonna believe that because it tastes too good to not okay so this would be three-fourth cup of brown sugar so I don't have a three-fourth cup thing on here so I'm gonna have to use a half a cup and a quarter cup here's my little my little bowl All right, there's a half, and then a quarter. Should probably wipe out the coconut oil from here. All right. And a quarter, that's three quarters of a cup. Good. It smells like regular brown sugar, so I'm pretty excited about that. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract, so we got my vanilla extract right here, and two teaspoons when it's time to add it to the batter. And then two large eggs. Two large eggs. Two different colors. Isn't that crazy? Alright. Half teaspoon of baking soda. I just went and bought this now. Half teaspoon. Here we go. Now I think I have a little teeny thing. I like to use this little thingamajig. It's kind of blurry, isn't it? Okay, see I have one of these I use for the salt and the salt and the baking soda together. So a half a teaspoon of baking soda. There we go. And then Half teaspoon of salt. I use the Morton's kosher. All right, I'm gonna put those together. All right. 
three cups of almond flour. So when I made that um, cream, the cheesecake on Super Bowl Sunday, a piece of the crust, remember I told you that it inflated? Well, a piece of the crust fell into the bottom of the oven, so it's smoking right now. So I need to let that smoke out really quick. Maybe open the door. It's not going to stop me from making these cookies, though. So three cups of almond flour. I like this brand is really good in the uh, in the cookies. This or the um, what's that guy's name? You know the guy with the face, the Red Mill. Use Red Mill. Like that. Those are good too. So one. Yeah. I'm so grateful for alternative flowers because if the world was just made out of white flour, we'd be in trouble. All right, and then chocolate chips and walnuts. So it says one and a quarter cups of chocolate chips and then two third cup of walnuts, but you guys can do whatever you want, you know. I just put in a bunch. Not too much, but not too little either. So we'll do that at the end. So right now, I'm gonna get to mixing. So the oven is preheated. Okay, so in the big bowl, we're going to put in the butter, coconut oil, and I think the vanilla, oh and the brown sugar, then mix this together and then we add the vanilla and the eggs and everything. So I'll start with that. Might help I plug this in, right? I should know this by heart, but for some reason being on camera, I gotta look. And then vanilla eggs and mix until incorporated. So then we need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So here we go. One, two. Get that in there. Yeah, that makes such a difference in the smell coming out. So good. Alright, got that in there. Now 
now the eggs. Those mixed up together. Then the baking soda and the salt. now to just mix in the, the chocolate chips and the uh, walnuts. We'll go do that now. And I'm just going to fold these in. So I'm just going to grab a handful, maybe a handful and a half. There you go. And then this is the remainder of my last bag of lilies. That's why I got another one, so I know it's just not going to be enough. Bag ripped. There we go. Yeah, I love this stuff. Your taste buds change when you're on keto. Things. You know, if I went and had a regular chocolate chip now, it's probably way too sweet. Let me get a thing in the jig. I haven't had like full on sugar in like four months. You know, I went out to dinner with my friend, and she got this caramel pecan pie thing from from um, this pie place by us, Baker Square. And I can smell the sweet over by me. It was like almost giving me a headache. That's how much of a difference that is. All right, where's my... Every time I have an open one, I put it in a Ziploc to keep it fresh. Now you guys can use your one and a fourth cups, but then make sure if you drop one, you pick it up because I have dogs. Dark chocolate and dogs are not a good combination. All right, so look at that. So I am a batter eater. I know it's bad because there's raw eggs in here. I understand all of that. But I've been doing it since I was a kid and I'm still alive. So oh my god. I love batter. Alright. looks like an exorcist movie out here. Gray, foggy, gloomy.
All right, so now we got a, a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and a cookie scoop. Now this makes a lot of cookies. So we're just gonna go pop a pile down there, kind of put them together. If there's pieces that kind of um, fall on the side, push them together. All right. There we go. I put one on each side to hold the parchment paper down that makes the rest easier. All right. Two. I don't really know how people do that um, video editing where it just pop, 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 and they all appear. I don't know what, what editor that is, so when I get that, it'll happen. We got 12, right? I'm going to pop them in the oven. Yeah. 11 to 13 minutes. Come on, stay focused. Stay focused. 11 to 13 minutes. It's usually closer to 13 for me. All right. So that's one baking sheet. We still have all this left. Isn't that crazy? So I'm making my second baking sheet. There go. More parts. Rack paper, it's gotta be parchment paper. It comes off really nice and easy. There's no sticking. Alright. One on this side. Come on. It's all rolly. It's towards the end of my uh, roll here, so you know it's gonna get all rolly. You know what I forgot to do? What y'all have to do on this one? Let's we'll see how those ones turn out, if it's necessary or not. But I always push them down a little bit. Um, so we'll see how that one turns out without doing that. So I always do that. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. We keep up with that on Instagram because I'll have these. I have this recipe in my highlights under food tasted and yummed. Here's another 12. All right, so we're gonna push them down a little bit, give them a sort of a cookie shape. Press down cookies. Into the oven these go. And there is still more batter. A lot of cookies. Alright. I think whatever's left from here I might just eat with a spoon. It may get sick, but 
I haven't got sick yet in 43 years. This one is a smaller cookie sheet, so I won't take 12. So I'll maybe nine. fit one more in here. So we're going to try to make this one as big as possible because there are still gold left. Not a lot, but enough for a really big cookie. So we still got a little bit left, little pieces, but so that's a lot of cookies. That's pretty good. I'm going to smush those down. And you just got to wait a little bit because we got those in the oven still. I already got two racks for the cookies. I don't have three racks. All right. So these are smushed. And we're going to wait. While we're waiting. What a way to break a 40 hour fast, right? Chipotle and cookie dough. I was holding it up. Alright. I want to get one of those um, those rings, the YouTube rings that hold um, your phone and has that light. So I'm going to get one of those soon. Alright, so we got six minutes left for the first batch to be done. We'll get these in the oven, then I'll show you when they're done. While I'm baking in the kitchen, my little guy's got to stay in here with me. Otherwise, if they're unattended out there, they will take some pee pees and poo poos. They gotta be watched. Little bladders, little bowels. Price to pay. Tyke! See? Crystal? You got one eye? Show me your one eye. Come here, Tyke Tykes. Get your food. Here. Here. Get it. He had, um, um, <laughs> get it, Ty, get it. He had a melting cornea. I guess it, something like that happens to these kind of breeds. Um, so he, uh, his eye was literally eating itself. So I had to, um, remove one. And, uh, it was a tough recovery. He had staples in his eye. I should probably show you a picture of that. He had staples in his eye, and he had to wear a cone for like a month. It was horrible. But now, psh, he's good to go, yo. There's Snickers. Say hi, Snickers. Hi. That's Shadow. 
I also have a highlight of my animals on Instagram. And Frank. Frank's on my Instagram, too. A highlight of him. And that's Tyke with the one eye. And that's Eddie. My poor Eddie. I used to rehabilitate dogs for um, this one's shelter. I mentioned it on um, my Sammy video for Animal Rescue Foundation. And somebody put him and his brother in a deposit box. A deposit box. Like they're garbage. Or an old DVD video. And, um... He was so scared that they, he was holding his brother back from getting better and recovering, so I took him to rehabilitate him. And now I've had him for almost six years. Have I, buddy? Yes, I have. So that's my Eddie. My Eddie Spaghetti's. All right, enough of my animals. You'll get a bunch of them in the future. Right? And here, actually, you want to hear one more story. Um, I used to groom at a place in bowling broke out here and I got a client it was this dog and a shih tzu and a really old shih tzu the owners bought this dog as a puppy to keep their shih tzu company so I groomed these two dogs and then the owner says I don't want this one anymore and I said what they said we bought him to keep our shih tzu company but he's too much work because he's a puppy so here he is he's ours had him for years. Right, Shadow? Right? And he's a chunkers. He's my least eating animal. He eats the least amount of food. But he is the porkiest dog there is. No, I've seen porkier. I work in the animal industry. I've seen much porkier, but he's a pork chop. See, I'm a pork chop. Yes, I am. So you're a pork chop. Yes. We think he's a puggle cavalier mix. And puggles tend to be uh, plump. Um, so yeah, that's my dogs. You got a minute and a half. Cookies are looking pretty good. Look at that. Nice brown bottoms. It's got a brown on the top. Can't wait. Yep, learn from my error. These cookies need to be pushed down like this before they're baked because they're just big puff balls. I don't know. Let's see how these turn out, but these are not my to-go ones. No, I guess because it's on camera, because I've made them several times, I've always pushed them down, but for some reason, this batch, I forgot to push down. They look like little chocolate chip cupcakes, which is, I guess, isn't the worst thing in the world, but they're not how I like my cookies, so. Let's see how these turn out, but I got two batches of the good stuff inside. The good stuff! Right on! Look at these beauties. Look at those beautiful colors. Brown bottles. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. So I got these on the cooling rack. And then I got these puff pastry cookies in my one container. And this is my other container that I use. So every night after dinner, I grab one cookie for my treat. I got one little teeny tiny nine pack down there we're finishing cooking and then I'm going to transport these beauties into this container and then those are my cookies and I will break one open when they're done and they're cooled off so I can show you the consistency because I mean they're just awesome to me they taste like regular cookies they don't taste like a keto cookie they taste regular so look at that look at that Isn't that amazing all right stay tuned all right, they're all out of the oven. These just came out. These are cooled off, so I'm gonna put these in their little tray here. Now they're still soft, but when they harden up, they're just like regular cookies, I promise. They're fantastic. Just gotta give them time. So when I get them in here, I don't put a cover on. I let them sit um, on top of the microwave where my animals, my cats can't get to them because my cats are countertop surfers. So 
I gotta stay safe. All right, so here's my dish of cookies. So I'm gonna put them up here, and let them harden up a little bit. So I got two whole thing of cookies here. So I'm gonna go do some errands, and when I come back, I'm gonna break one open for you so you can see the consistency. And they are delicious, I promise. See you soon. Beautiful. Look at that. Delicious. Bottoms up. Mm. So buttery and good. I promise you, you love these. Make them. Today was a productive day. I also cleaned my fish tanks today. Yeah. My Jungle Book theme, Bagheera. Blue. Shere Khan. He's a tiger koi, but a, so a tiger, you know, Shere Khan goes with the theme. And my little snail buddies. My little snails. I don't think you guys cared about watching me clean my tanks, but I have a really big snail somewhere. He's somewhere in there. And of course I named him Gary from Spongebob. Where are you, Gary? He's bigger than this guy for sure. He's a he's a ginormous one. But I don't know where he is. Oh, I think I see him back there. See him down there, little guy? That's Gary. So yeah, here's a one clean tank there too. And then over here I clean this way. People's people's these fishes tanks. I got a bunch in here. I got six black Nia Tetras and three bronze Corridoras. And they're all camera shy. Okay, there's, let's see. there's one. I got two more in there, but they're hiding. But yeah, all the tanks are clean. So that's something else I did today. Protective. Baking, cleaning, animal caretaking. Now I have to empty this room out. Okay, I got all these record albums. I gotta empty this room out by the end of the week. So my brother and his wife are gonna be moving in with us and this is their room. So fish gotta be moved. Cute. If you like fish like I do, you'll think they're cute. Everybody meet Frank. Say hi. Hi, Frank. Love